welcome back to Niche, a genetic survival game. I'm Paige, and here are my lovely kitties. Hello. We had another set of twins right after we had our second set of twins of this save file, which is super exciting for me. I love twins. And I was just in the midst of kind of pairing off all of my kitties for the next round of breeding. And I have decided several pairs already. These two are uh, a mating pair. These two are going to be a mating pair because, yes, even though they are twins, they have different sets of immunity genes, which is obviously possible in this game. You don't really need to worry about how closely kitties related to each other as long as the immunity genes are different. So just really to keep it easy on me, I'll have these two be um, a mating pair, these two are a mating pair, these two are a mating pair, these two are a mating pair. This male is going to be mated with this female, and this female is going to be mated with this male. And that does leave me with two extra females, so I will probably have to double them up or wait for more wanders, uh, but we'll see. Uh, it's it's I think it's these two females that um were extra not not the mom there we go these two I think um, didn't have a, a male right away but we'll see we'll see about that we'll figure it out we're gonna have I failed to mate with these two because their immunity is so iffy which is super annoying but we're, we'll try again this next turn and she just needs to build a nest and then they'll have their first kid and okay so we know what we're doing. Let's go to the next day. Oh, the grass. Stop it. Stop it, grass. Okay, so Duke knew you're going to be digging and digging again. And <laughs> eventually you're going to make your way down to actually, I'll probably just do that. Okay, you two are mates. Now, what we'll do is, what will we do? Uh, we'll move this male closer to his mate, his eventual mate, and it's going to be this female here. These two females don't have uh, males right away, but eventually I'm sure we can um, figure out what to do there. All right, so let's see here. Um, let's move around and take care of this grass and just... I don't know, do something with the older crowd so that they don't feel left out, I guess. Oh wait, you're not an older crowd. You're a younger one. What were you doing back there with the old folks? You just like hanging out with the old folks? I understand. They're very interesting. All right, I have to remember to bring her back up here. I guess that means I have three extra females. I'm, I misplaced a female. That can happen. That can happen. I seem to often have uh, more females than males this save file. I'm sure it's just random chance. Uh, but yeah, it does seem to be the way it's been going, which is fine. Okay, you guys, you're, you're killing me, please. Oh God, whew. I don't know if we'll bother to have a lot of kids with them because it's, it's such a hassle, but um, goodness. At long last, we, were, we managed to get them pregnant. All right, so let's go ahead and pick up the berries. And I do really hope that eventually with the genetics menu, we can unlock healthy immunity, not healthy immunity, healthy fertility. Like maybe one of these blanks is healthy fertility. Uh, I don't know if it is or not, but that would be a lot easier to deal with if we could kind of help our newer kitties being born have good fertility. I don't know if that's a thing, but that would be awesome. <laughs> All right, where are we? What are we doing? What are we doing? Um, I think we're gonna have a lot of extra females, actually. I'm looking and it seems like we have a lot, but that's all right. We'll figure it out. We'll double up or we'll wait for wanders or something. So yeah, if the twins stay on the same tile, they don't grow. That seems to be the conclusion here. You can keep them in stasis <laughs> indefinitely it seems like uh i don't know how much longer i want to keep them in stasis to be honest with you uh i don't know but it's very interesting that they just they don't grow unless you move them to a different tile and i'm pretty sure it's the same thing with a mom and a newborn baby if the mom and the newborn baby stay on one title that baby will not grow until 
the mom either moves or she dies so that the baby is the only one on the tile and then it'll grow. So that's very interesting. But now with twins, since they're both babies and they're both not growing, um, you can kind of just keep them in stasis indefinitely, which is kind of a neat little thing. I kind of like that. It's kind of random. You can't pick berries. Why not? Why not? Because you've got digging and velvet. Velvet has plus one collecting. Oh, you're out of turns. Digging and velvet. But you also have velvet and you can't seem to pick. So that's annoying. Velvet. Maybe you can't pick because you're a baby? Is that what's happening? It must be because she's too young. Because I think velvet can collect. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. All right, why don't I just move you out of the nest then? And we'll have this one come in the nest. Because why not? At least you've got a, a, a mate as of right now. We've mated you with somebody or we've paired you up with somebody. Uh, I'm gonna have you kind of... What am I gonna have you do? I don't know, I don't have anything for you to do. Just move around for the heck of it. Get some fresh air. For fresh air. Get some exercise, rather. Getting plenty of fresh air. All right. Look at these bun buns. Look at them. All right, this one's about to pass away, so we're gonna need to station somebody else at this bush. I think I will grab one of the females that's not currently made it up and station her at this bush, because this one is about to go, and we will you will be missed. Uh, let's see. I'm just gonna keep you in status forever. Because it's lousy. Alright, let's see. I moved these two twins out of, shall we say, growth stasis because um, the male twin I had matched up with a female from up here, so I wanted him to be growing at roughly the same rate as the female I paired him with. But these two I've decided to mate together, so you guys can just be in stasis together for as long as you'd like. This is a younger one, and I can't forget that. I mean, I'm sure I won't forget, because the older ones will eventually pass away. And, well, they'll pass away before she does. You're like middle-aged, New Duke. New Duke is middle-aged. Where are you? There you are. You had a ton of kids. Well done. <laughs> well done. It's just lucky, due to the immunity genes. Alright. I, I think I can go ahead and go to the next day. Can I? Shall I? Will I? Uh, yes, let's go the next day. Ugh. <laughs> uh. Ugh. Alright. Rasila, you're you're fairly up there, so I want you to just give it all you've got. Well done. Okay, uh now let's see. Let's uh let's uh let's figure this out. Let's figure this out. You're fairly up there, so you're gonna come down and attack as well. Uh, yes, that one passed away. So I need to move one of these unmatched up females over to that nest and, and she can be, uh, she can be taking care of that nest. Oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my Lanta. For the first time, we have twin males. First twins we ever got were two females. Then we got a male and a female and a male and a female in quick succession. And now I, ca I can't even, it's going to lose its novelty. I hope it never does. Here we have, for the first time, t another set of twins that are two males. Let's take a look at them, shall we? This is nuts. I love it. This is nuts and I love it. Ugh. Oh, look at them. Look at them, they're awesome. Oh, that's so great. Ugh. Oh, uh, the twins, look at them. Since they're two males, this is good because we had a lot of unmatched females. Let's see if... Well, I can check their immunities in between uh, episodes. Because I decided that maybe it's not terribly interesting to watch me match up immunity genes. I don't know. <laughs> maybe that's not very fun to, to watch. Um, so I decided just to try as much as possible to, um, to do that in between the episodes. So... Um, Perhaps it's a little bit- oh, we don't have enough! That's upsetting. Okay. Does this give us enough? I could move her out. This one out. Okay, that does give us enough. Woo! To build the nest. Alright. Cool. Cool, cool. 
Oh my gosh, the twins. <laughs> That's so neat. But so in between this episode and the next one, I will check out the immunity genes and see if I can pair them up with um, some of these unpaired females that we have going on. All right. Now, where were we? Where were we? I've totally forgotten. I guess we should check this new female, uh, new baby who is a female. She's got great blood. She's got great eyes. She has double collecting. She's got perfect fertility. Wow. That's great. That's awesome. Okay, so I'm probably going to have you guys keep on mating because apparently you produce very healthy children. So I am very happy about that. Now, this one is mated up with this one, and I guess we can continue mating with them. I mean, they produce twins, which... <laughs> For me, that's awesome. That's always a bonus when we get some twins happening. Uh, let's see, what else are we doing? I don't know. What are we doing? I don't know. This one's on the way to the bush, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she is. Okay, so we finally got a kid out of you guys, so let's check this kid out. Perfect fertility. <gasps> Hallelujah! Aren't you guys excited about that? You had so much trouble. I think it took maybe five or six attempts to get these two pregnant because they have a 50-50 shot, I'm guessing, because each one has a infertile slot, as you can see. But their baby won the lottery and got the slot, inherited the slot from both parents that was perfect fertility. So now this kid has high fertility in both spots, resulting in perfect fertility. And I don't know if we should risk <laughs> creating another child with these two that will you know, have the the infertile? I'm not sure. Uh, it is a male, so I will check this male and these two males with not only the new female, but also the uh, extra females that didn't have mates yet. In between episodes, obviously. But that's super great. I'm so glad that they actually managed to pass the good portions of their, their fertility. That's awesome. That's super great. Okay, so let's come back here and we're still... <laughs> we got sidetracked big time, but we're still trying to deal with this carnivore. I don't think you're gonna get close. No, you're not. Okay, we'll have to finish off the carnival next turn. And uh, this episode probably needs to be ended here shortly. As soon as I kill the carnivore next turn, I promise I will end this episode. So let's go to the next turn. Oh wait, almost forgot to look for digging. Almost forgot to look for digging. Didn't find any, okay. You don't have digging, do you? No, okay. So let's just go to the next turn. Oh, you killed those poor creatures. All right, you were avenged. She's gonna die next turn anyway, regardless of whether she gets licked. Uh, but since I don't have anything for a new duke to do anyway, oh, we have a new male. Popped right out of this shadowy place. Okay, hang on a second. I gotta. This is challenging. I have to uh, invite this uh, male. Invite. Oh, hello. Look at you. All right. So I'm just gonna lick. Um... There we go. Just because New Duke doesn't have anything to do anyway, and it just makes me feel better than the tribe takes care of each other. So we have, um, the first thing I'm gonna do is check fertility. No, I'm not, because I promised I would end the episode. Okay, I promised I would end the episode, but next thing I'm, first thing I'm gonna do in between episodes is check everybody's fertility again. Because I'm crazy for breeding, and it's, it's quite obvious, I'm sure, that I'm quite mad. But thank you so much for, in, for putting up with me, and I, I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>